Hi, and in this video, you're going to learn how to make combo charts. Again, we're going to select some non-adjacent data, so I'm going to have to hold down Control and select the data in column E. We want to create a chart on its own tab, but to save time, we're going to hit F11, and it will quickly do that for us. We're now going to right-click on one of the columns to change the chart type to a combo chart with a secondary axis. To do that, we're going to right-click, change chart type, combo chart, and we want a secondary axis, so that's this other line that you see going across. So right here is a combo chart. If you hover over, you'll see it say um, with a secondary axis, and that's this extra line. We now need to add a chart title. You're just going to click, and you want to make it something that makes sense, like rain measurements. And the reason we wanted to do the secondary axis is because you wouldn't be able to see it since it was in percents. You'll notice that over here we go from 0 to 20 and over here it only goes to 0.5. So you really wouldn't be able to see it if we didn't add this secondary axis. That's what this is over here. We now want to add a horizontal axis title and a vertical axis title. You can do that by hitting the plus sign, axis titles, and we want a primary horizontal and a primary vertical axis title. And you want to rename these to apply, so this would be regions. And over here this would be inches. And we're going to rename our sheet tab to rain chart. To do that, you just double click. And there you have it. This is a secondary axis. Good if some of your numbers are smaller and you won't be able to see it. F11 was our shortcut key to get over here. And plus sign is how we add other elements to our charts. 